What's going on, guys? Welcome to OTGW Talk, and uh, I'm Dan. Felicia. Mia. We got a great discussion for you guys today. It's an often talked about discussion, very controversial, yeah. and it's all about the one. Dun, 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 dun. So scary. You see this topic in the news all, the, I mean, not in the news, in uh, on the internet all the time, and it's always in shows and movies, and it's always this portrayal of the one and only person for you, the soulmate, somebody that you're supposed to fall in love with and spend the rest of your life with, and you're gonna have yeah, like, that one person that just one. gets you, that they're perfect, they fit into all the criteria that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and today we're here to kind of talk about that. Talk about whether we think that's actually something that is realistic or not, and why. So this is a great example because here we have three people, and mm -hmm. we've all been in relationships, currently are in some, and Mia, can we, you know, you're single, right? And we don't want to single you out here, but- You're singling me out! What is your current definition of the one? So, okay, I believe that the one exists. You know, as in, in Chinese culture, you have this theory of red strings of fate. You know, that you're connected to this other person that you're supposed to spend the rest of your it's life like with. like a predetermined relationship in a way? Yeah, yeah, kind of like your soulmate or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I, I kind of, I believe in that concept. But it's okay, going to so be a lot of work. Say you were in a relationship, how would you determine, or would you try to determine <clears throat> whether that person was the one? I still don't know the answer to that. I don't know! <laughs> How do you know if he's the one? Because I've asked my friend about this before, actually. And then my friend was just like, oh, you'll know. Anyone who said that, that's like a very redundant statement. It's like you're not offering anything <laughs> of any help. Thanks, friend. You're not making anyone, like, did that make you feel better? No. Like, yeah. you'll actually, know. that made me feel worse because yeah. I'm like, okay, but, but I still don't know, like, you know? Question mark, question mark, question yeah. mark. Yeah. Also, right now, though, Timing is very important. Okay. Like where you are in your life, where that other person are in their life. Oh, what is your... My concept, right? Yeah, what is your concept? My concept of the one is somebody that you meet and you marry and you have this lifelong journey with. And the journey is not always good. Mm. Right, but that's already assuming you found them. So then the right. journey is there, right? But beforehand, uh -huh. it's the searching process. What is your concept of the searching process <laughs> of the one? So And what is it? All right, I'm gonna, does it exist? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. Okay. So my belief is you don't find the one. The one finds you. What? You cannot Stop trying to find the one. You will not find the one because you're like, I'm looking, I'm looking. And then when you look, you have this set of criteria and yeah. then they don't fit the criteria. So you break up or you go, you're go, you going out and then you're like, oh, this is the one. And something happens and you break up. So it wasn't the one. So you're saying that you're just going in with low expectations. It's not quite low expectations. Right. It's like you should have a pre sort of checklist and everyone has a different one, right? You have to go through experiences. You can't just be like, Oh, he's the one. You have to go through some bad times. Yeah, see, I would say, like, I wouldn't even go into it with a checklist. I feel like you should approach relate or new relationships with a standard. So there's certain things that you would want from that person, right? And it's not like a checklist of he must be tall, he yeah. must look like this, but it's more the principles that rule him type right. of thing. And then his you values. can. Yeah, his values. Yeah. So those things are like first. Any potential person can be the one. So if you right. think about it, you're in one relationship and you break up for whatever reason, right? Uh -huh. And at that point when you were in that relationship, you thought they were the one. That's why you're with them. Okay. Right? And then something happens that proves that, okay, something's not working. And then you move on. And then so each time you move to a new person, they present a new set of personalities, a new set of points that either you learn from or that you will compromise yeah. with. Like a new and set then, of challenges Exactly. For you. So it's a new dynamic each and every time that you find someone new. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of a constantly evolving and revolving process. But wait, I got a question though. What if what if at first you're like smitten by the guy and you're yeah. like, wow, I could I want to change myself for him and I want to do this and that. But then later you're like, nah, I don't want to do it anymore. Then, then he's then not the one. No, because if you're constantly willing to compromise and evolve with that person and they do vice versa, then it's like an ever growing relationship. Mm. And so your relationship will reach, will keep climbing like the keep maturity growing, level. Yeah, exactly. Right? And you'll keep breaking through certain relationship walls that mm -hmm. you can't with another person. 
or you yep. couldn't get through with your ex, yeah. or whatever. So and they like, become the one. Yeah. yeah. At one point or another, that infatuation will die out. So yeah. how do you maintain uh -huh. the uh. relationship without that? You came to the right place. Did I? Here's, here's the problem. We're all conditioned to feel like that infatuation is good. Mm. And we read all these things and we see all, all our friends because they're in that phase. They're like, oh my gosh, you got, I got the butterflies. Okay, but you do okay. feel those things at the beginning. Because yes. You're, you're yeah, it isn't that necessary. But yeah, it's a different butterfly. All right, let me backtrack real quick. I don't mean butterfly, like you shouldn't have butterflies that like nervous, like positive electric energy that's not what i'm saying you should be excited to see that person right it, it, otherwise like why are you even dating that person mm -hmm. but don't be blinded because at first they can do nothing wrong mm -hmm. then the things that they do wrong you start to see it and that's when you're like questioning er, is this the one is yeah. this not the one and i think a lot of the time in the infatuation stage it's because we're kind of expecting things to be done right mm -hmm. so you're expecting him to woo you to mm -hmm. pay for things to take right. you on dates and then when that infatuation out they're expecting too much and not appreciating enough right so they're expecting here but only the like delivery of a normal person is here right yep. so like I want a question for you like in the past when you decided that person's not the one why did you decide that this is getting doomed. Oh, it's <laughs> okay maybe think about on a general sense like was it <laughs> something that looking back on you would you could do a little different okay there are a few factors in my case i don't know how true this is for other people it was something like values and principles when you have two different sets mm. of values yeah, absolutely and you're just two very different people i think in a lot of people's cases also there's the distance effect mm. yeah. what if that person moves away to a far away country that's that's that is a wild card, right? If you yeah. just meet someone and all of a sudden it's like, oh, we just met. Yeah. And then now we have to be apart. So yeah. how do you build that relationship? Yeah. Well, even for you, you were you're like bi coastal. Even like three thousand miles could be a long distance. You're a different example. You're you're a good example of long, long distance, distance. I mean, we're talking about yeah. long because super I was long with distance. my boyfriend for about a year. Mm -hmm. And then the three years preceding that has all been long distance. Wow. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, you're like, right. So we had a Whoa. year, and actually, I feel like a year is not <clears throat> a long time at all to no. even know a person. Yeah. You haven't showed every facet of your right. personality. Right. Yet. So in that case, see, your lives are going towards two different directions. Right. Um, so at that point, you have to decide whether or not he's the, the one. one. Right. right. But that's to the thing. keep the relationship. It goes back to how much you're willing to sacrifice your own personal needs for the relationship. Mm -hmm. okay. And some people are like, don't ever change yourself. No, yeah. like, to me, if you never change yourself, how do you grow as a person? I've changed things around in myself so that I'm not completely smitten. And I know that it's a journey. So ultimately, the, the first one didn't work out because I think there were certain things that I couldn't change about myself possibly. Um, or at that time, I was unwilling to, or mm. just didn't know how. Yeah, unwilling. And, yeah. So when you're unwilling, I think that's already kind of an indication that it's for, like, why am I unwilling? Mm, is this right. person not the right one. for me? Right. Which is why I'm unwilling to change. But I was young, and I didn't, you know, I needed a little more time to mm. change, right? But then the second one, I, I was already, I've already arrived at that conclusion that I can right. change myself feel like and I it's learned. not change in a mm -hmm. bad sense right. like your identity crisis or no. something like you have no spine to stand up for you. it's right. like you're maturing absolutely and growing from the experience absolutely yeah which I think a lot of people don't take it as a good thing you know we all have that friend that kind of changes in a relationship and yes. you're like bro what happened to you you're like where is my friend I want my friend back yeah but it's like if that person chooses to change for their relationship <laughs> like good for them if it doesn't work then it doesn't work right. you move on <laughs> so like for 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 the current relationship we kind of made sure our values matched mm -hmm. in the beginning yeah there's mm -hmm. no point hanging on to to the things you can't change. Right, right? exactly. Yeah. So then we're like, all right, we, we believe in the same things. We want the same things. So now it's just the test of your your, um, mm. your endurance. Mm -hmm. Like, so that to me is like when you truly grow in a relationship yeah. and it and she has become the one. Yeah. And I've become the one for her. Yeah. You do have to do something, which is you have to look at yourself. If mm. you're if you're looking for the one and you're single, you have to work on yourself a mm. little bit mm. and, and look back on why certain things 
didn't work out. You're like, okay, these are things that I absolutely have to have in a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's your core values exactly. that you're not willing to change. I'll give you a, a quick example, right? Let's something that's important to a guy or a girl. Let's say it's being there. Let's say when they meet their friends, family, or there's an important event, right? You want them to be there. Mm. Let's say they're not there. Most people would be like, yo, you didn't come through for me, mm -hmm. right? They'd be like, maybe he's not the one. Then they read articles like, because all these articles, like signs that he's the one, he meets your family, BS. This is, this is the moment, this is the key moment where you know he's the one or not. And it's not because he didn't come. Mm -hmm. It's after that, you say that was really important to me and you weren't there. And then how do you proceed? Exactly. Yeah. If he's like, oh, that's I'm, a good point. If he's yeah. like, I'm, I'm, we all make mistakes. If yeah. he's like, I didn't realize because we didn't communicate that. And, yeah. And I <laughs> will be there. But then let's say next time he isn't, then like two, three times after that, then you can yeah. be like, you know what? I've tried. This is something where it's not, then maybe he's not the one. But if he, but if he changes the next time or even is like willing to change, yeah. mm -hmm. why can't, like, then you're like, wow, holy crap, this guy is showing that he's he wants to willing to change mm -hmm. so right. then he might yeah. just be the one because and if it keeps know? stacking up like <coughs> exactly. you know you come across tribulations Upon and if you tribulations. can get through that and mm. grow from it and move forward then it keeps climbing exactly. yeah right? exactly. and also i think you kind of have to like be in the mindset of totally devoted to your relationship right because i think a lot of the time people is like oh i can get something better if you, yes. you're not willing to change yeah right. so why yeah. would i want to do that or those friends will be telling you that you know you should you deserve better uh, you yeah. should be happy because if you think about it like compatibility you're compatible with more than just one person absolutely right? true. and it's like you could essentially date any guy or any girl right. it's just how much you're willing to change for that person who's in front of you yeah there's no like you said there's no quick fix to make you happy the only way is if you work on yourself and you're like all right is there some things i can let go mm. that i can sacrifice and true sacrifice like you said meaning not like if i sacrifice for you you got to sacrifice for me yeah no, that's, that's a trait if i'm willing to do something that you it's important to you i should and to me it's a sacrifice for whatever reason i shouldn't want anything in return and honestly like eventually you get to the point where like I'm happy to do it. And that's when I would say, you know, they're the one. Mm. And I think like yeah. a lot of people will be like, oh, well, I'm in a relationship and I give more than he does. And I give my all and it doesn't work out. Right. So the girl is, she's not really giving her <laughs> all because she's always looking for something in return. Yeah. Mm. So if you, if that guy's not giving it to you, maybe you're with the wrong guy or something, or maybe you need to re-examine your, your base Mm. criteria yeah because everyone's criteria is different yeah mm -hmm. you know girls talk to each other yeah. about like <laughs> potential guys yeah. and it's like oh well this guy you know his profile is better and i think people look at pe at other people as a package right deal in a way they absolutely do and pick it apart yeah. like a car how are you supposed to make a fair judgment on someone just by mm -hmm. face value and mm. what they right. have and um, Mia's like oh my god so many things <laughs> and then people have the ability to change but if you don't give that person the ability to really show who they are yeah. in front of you or for you you'll never find it you know right. if you're not willing to invest in it and the investment <laughs> it is really investing because right at that point you might be thinking I could let him show me but if I do and it doesn't work out I've lost yeah. mm. but you just you cannot think that way know who you are at the core and have like the principles in mind and also the foundation that you know will never change, but then everything else is fluff exactly. that you can change. Um, yeah. Whether you want to or not, that's part of the process of being in a relationship. Yeah. Every relationship is a different dynamic altogether. Mm -hmm. Like right. you and your significant other right. is completely different to me and my significant exactly. other. And mm -hmm. the things that work for me don't work for you Absolutely. and vice versa. So it's mm -hmm. like, you can take advice but you should know what advice to take mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and where they're important. And lucky for you, you're a girl, which means you have time to be like, okay, well, there's all these possible guys and reassess. You don't have to feel like you, right. you, can, you need to rush into something. Or rule any or all out because they all have something to offer. It's just mm -hmm. like which one connects with you the most in a way that you can really fulfill and build on. I feel like the mindset that you approach it is a good thing because I feel like when people, you know, when they just break up or they went through a failed relationship, they'll come out of it kind of feeling a little bit bitter. Destroyed. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, so my previous criteria 
is not right. So I have to kind of eliminate some of the things, or I needed to add some things to my set, mm. uh, you know, list of criteria. Yeah. Go oh, into I need even to more. completely change because yeah. it didn't work. Yeah. And so when I hear mm. that, to me, you're going down a bad path mm. because you're not reassessing yourself. And what you could have done better, mm. you're reassessing. How do I change my criteria? Externally. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I find a guy that fits this, but you never, yeah. like we're saying, you don't know when you first meet someone. You don't know who they really are. Yeah, that's why I hate the dating phase. I think that's what a lot of people don't really realize, especially the young ones. You know, that relationship has all these different stages. Absolutely. So it's easy to be like, it's not interesting anymore. Yeah, then. exactly. Yeah, it's also the fact that you have to kind of stop thinking about yourself all the time. Right. It's not like what different qualities can I look for, you know, in yeah. this other person? It's also a process of finding yourself because it's not easy to kind of, you know, get to know yourself. It's actually a hard thing. Yeah. So it's a, it's a thing that a lot of people go through. Okay, I think we should wrap it up. Now. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Actually, if you have a comment, I would say leave it for us on <laughs> Facebook. I mm. feel like because YouTube comments is really uh, it's, it's hard to reply. It's hard to reply, and also a lot of times the comments, you know, people just kind of leave it on a whim. It's not yeah. well thought out. And no. as you can see already, these two give great love advices. So if you have any questions about that, send us <laughs> your questions. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.